Hi everyone, this is Thomas from the Babylon Jazz team. Today I'm pretty happy because it is uh, number six and last part uh, of the video series we started some time ago, uh, where we're creating an augmented reality portal in, uh, in WebXR. So today uh, we're gonna see everything, the final code. Uh, last episode, we put everything together on the desktop. Now we're going back to, um, to WebXR. So, and as we went to WebXR, um, there is basically two things that were um, very different, two little things I had to adapt. The first one, so this is a screenshot that you see, you see that the floor is actually not at the ground level. Um, so it's just some minor things, some adaptation, um, a lot of alignment between the different objects, between portal, the scene, and, um, and the real world. And the second thing, was uh, actually a bit more painful is this kind of like this, you know, remember the movie Inception, like this weird bug, right? So between VR, what's real, what's not real, we barely know right here. Um, if you uh, remember last video, I had a, a problem uh, because there was this occluder, but it's the occluder is, a, is in the middle of the scene and I'm it's hiding behind, but I, I can see what's between the camera and the occluder. So the solution, the solution we found last time was to do this clip plane, right? Remember? And um, the problem is that this uh, clip plane didn't work uh, as I moved the code to, um, to WebXR. So, I mean, I could have tried to figure out if there was a way to make it work, but uh, I um, found another quick solution, which was to actually build um, an occluder box, right? So as I start the session of the demo, the user is kind of like in the middle of the box. And usually, you know, you just want to go through the door so you don't go on the side. But if you go on the side, you would actually see um, see the real world. Um, see, like as I'm going here, I'm fully in occlusion mode. So it's just going to see the real world on every on every, uh, on every every side uh, here. Okay, I have to move the box here a little bit, but um, you, get, um, you get the idea. So that's what we're going to see. Uh, those are the only difference in the code. So I'm going to go really fast on what is not new because we, you know, saw everything already. I'm fully uh, in WebXR. Uh, again, you know, detecting if it's available, creating the UI we see here uh, on the screen. I'm creating the WebXR session. I'm loading the... Um, feature manager and the two things I'm going to need, the XR test and um, the XR camera, because as I move, uh, it's the XR camera that is moving. So that's the XR camera position. I will track to know if I'm going across or not um, the portal. And um, so, you know, create, uh, creating the marker, it's, uh, it's material, the glowing things that we saw before. Um, setting up the roots, transform node. So again, very important to move the different pieces relative to, uh, to each other between the portal, the 3D scene and the occluder. Um, and finally, that's where you see um, this occluder box, right? So pretty basic top down, right? Uh, occluder. And then, you know, I've just adapted the code um, with all these uh, different occluders everywhere. But it, it, is, it is the same code than um, the, the one we uh, described in the previous, uh, the previous video. Um, and that is um, that is all. Uh, that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. Um, as I was mentioning, that's the XR camera uh, that I'm using to know if I cross the portal, and that's it. And it works. So there was a good surprise. Also, as I sent this video to um, you know my friend Ranan uh, in the team, uh, he has an uh, Oculus Quest. So there is also would a uh, question: Is it going to work out of the box on Oculus? Well, here is the results. And uh, yes, the quick answer is yes, it worked out of the box. So that's the experience in Oculus. So same thing, right? The marker. And then as he clicks, uh, it, it's putting the, the portal. Um, and then you can go through the portal and it's you're inside. And in this case with uh, the Quest, uh, Quest 2, you're really uh, inside, inside the, real, the 3D world. And yeah, so very, uh, very funny. It was definitely very, uh, very exciting to do this. I saw this demo online uh, and I wanted to try to redo it with WebXR and, uh, and Babylon. So it was great learning. And I hope I, you know, I share all this learning with you and you can make it your own. Um, as usual, you'll find the links uh, in the video. I hope you had fun and see you maybe in another series uh, sometime. Bye bye, y'all.